Hello guys and uh, welcome into a uh, new uh, BIOS update uh, video for the uh, Asus ROG uh, Z490 uh, E gaming motherboard. Um, we see uh, we have a uh, new BIOS version available since the uh, 24th of uh, July on the uh, ASUS uh, website. This was uh, uh, told to me by one of my uh, viewers but um, back then when he uh, he said that after checking it um, the BIOS version wasn't uh, posted on, uh, on ASUS website. The time has passed and uh, I rechecked it now in uh, late August <clears throat> and it's here the, ver the version uh, 2301 from 2201 which is uh, the one I have right now so let's uh, get started I've already downloaded the uh, uh, the file the zip file <clears throat> this is how it looks and uh, make sure you extract it in a uh, let's say new folder also and uh, after that just uh, double click on uh, BIOS renamer so it will rename the uh, BIOS uh, file you get this uh, black window and it tells you to press any key to continue, press enter and that's it, you can see the uh, BIOS file has been uh, renamed now let's uh, take this down and go into um, AISUIT3 well, I have it right here this is the uh, icon, click once and we go straight to this uh, window where we can uh, manually update the BIOS um, so we browse, uh, browse uh, the exact same location where we uh, downloaded and renamed the BIOS file and what's nice when we press on uh, browse it takes us right uh, to that specific place here it is select it and press open the um, BIOS file is uh, loaded we see right here the current version is 2201 and the ones that we uh, uh, loaded right now is the uh, 2301 release date 13 of July and right now we simply press update right here and right now again we press flash update bias to 2301 ok and the system requires a restart for the bias to take effect click ok to restart instantly press ok and now we sit back and uh, wait for everything to uh, to complete so have patience and here it is it clears the database first we get the same uh, uh, loading line all you need to do right now is just to be patient and don't touch anything while the uh, BIOS uh, update process um, 
continues and uh, it completes. I will uh, tell you my thoughts again on the system. Uh, what I uh, what I've done uh, was to replace my um, internet cable because uh, although I have Wi-Fi in my house, the PC is uh, used only through uh, fiber optics, so through direct uh, cable internet. And I uh, I had before a, a cheap um, flat cable uh, by a bot from eBay, and I uh, I noticed sometimes I had that n nasty lag on on the browsing the internet or on loading the pages. So I decided to buy a very high quality uh, category 6A um, round cable uh, which is um, STFP um, or something like that. So basically all the um, eight um, cables that are in it are um, surrounded in um, um, in a um, foil uh, like a tin foil um, each of uh, two uh, a pair of cables so there are a total of uh, four um, cables separated like that um, and uh, I can tell you that the uh, the system the the internet is loading a lot faster so make sure if you want to have a high quality system even the cables all the cables you use even that if it's the power cable or the um, internet cable don't chip out and uh, try to stay away from the flat ones I, I didn't have a, a pleasant experience with them um, aside from this, next I will uh, I will look to upgrade my uh, storage and my RAM. So these are the um, the two things that need to be updated. Uh, also, uh, most probably I will buy a uh, one terabyte NVMe Samsung 980 Pro the latest uh, NVMe SSD from them um, and uh, the uh, the RAM at least 32 gigabytes of uh, DDR4 32 uh, megahertz at CL16 um, the 16 uh, gigs I have uh, right now although it's a very fast RAM the CL14 from G-Skill Hyper uh, G Skill uh, Flarex. Um, it's really uh, starting to be insufficient when it comes to uh, streaming. But uh, I'll have to to wait and uh, and see. I want to get them at a very good price, and most probably I will do the um, upgrades when uh, Black Friday will come. Right now we will have the um, couple of uh, restarts it's okay it's perfectly fine to say it doesn't have signal a second restart and the third one And now all should be fine. It will uh, have signal soon. There it is. Have patience, don't touch anything. And we see we have post. And right here we get that message. Um, it says to press F1 
for Intel default CPU settings, the stock power limits, which I have used all along, or if you want to overclock, which I don't recommend, press F3 to unlock limits for increased performance. So, although I can and I have all the um, components uh, needed for overclocking, I uh, I will press F1 and keep it in uh, in the stock power limits. So we press F1 <clears throat> and right now we're in uh, in BIOS where we'll need to um, change two things. First of all to have the uh, uh, RAM back to its uh, AXMP profile because right now it's downgraded to the base 2133 MHz and to make sure that we don't uh, um, have the um, peripherals that have uh, uh, LED uh, stripes uh, remain uh, powered after the uh, shutdown. So let's uh, first go into uh, easy mode and right here we have XMP that is disabled currently we simply enabled click enabled and we see the RAM is now at 3200 MHz CL14 and um, then we go back into the advanced mode uh, let's see in advanced in the advanced tab I always forget where it is. Onboard devices configuration, right here. Perfectly, I found it from the first time. USB power delivery in soft off state C, uh, S5. This right now it is enabled, so it will power them even after the shutdown. We click disabled and now all the peripherals like the keyboard that has lights or the microphone or the um, uh, mouse will be uh, turned off when we will shut down the PC. Um, press uh, F10, so save and exit. We have here a, a summary of the two changes we've made. The most are uh, in the uh, RAM section, so you can see that single uh, enable of uh, AXMP profile um, changed six uh, parameters, and of course the USB power delivery S5. Click OK. And pretty much uh, this sums it up. Now we'll have a uh, restart. and everything is perfect. When we enter again in uh, AI Suite 3 we see right now the uh, current uh, BIOS version is the uh, 2301. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you would like to uh, help me with my channel Try to uh, follow me on uh, the uh, WoW uh, streams I do. Um, I wish you to have a very nice weekend ahead. And uh, I'll see you in the uh, next BIOS update videos. Bye-bye.